Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's my review for G.I. Joe Cobra number four, The Death of Cobra Commander. Now, this is uh, the fourth volume of the uh, G.I. Joe Cobra series, and this is basically the, the final volume of this story. And I know I've been preaching to you guys, please buy G.I. Joe Cobra, because it's so good. And I have to say, this ended so awesomely that I, I, can't, I had to do this video to explain to you guys this is not your average G.I. Joe comic. This actually is actually good. And there's a lot of things that are going on this in this book that you did not get from the Marvel Hasbro G.I. Joe. You're, I mean, I understand that there's a lot of G.I. Joe titles out by IDW, but just go to your comic store and look for the thing that says right here, G.I. Joe Cobra, and buy volumes 1 through 4. I guarantee you, if you're looking for something that's not superheroes, something with some shooting, some things blowing up, some political backstabbing, this is what it is. This is what to get G.I. Joe Cobra. I mean, heck, Chuckles has a, a Hawaiian type shirt on. How that's 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 GI that's his uniform. But anyways, um, as you can see, we have GI uh, this is the, the the new look for Cobra Commander. Um, you have basically what happens is Chuckles gets captured and Cobra Commander brings him into the um, command center, and they don't really treat him like a prisoner. They basically, um, granted he's locked up, but they let him see things. You know, they let, they give him tour, like walking tours of things, and he gets a general idea of what's the layout of the land. He sees things that a normal prisoner shouldn't see, and so he knows something's up. But um. Basically, what this issue, these issues here is uh, Chuckles trying to get his revenge um, against, I think it was Zambot and um, uh, Cobra Commander, or basically take down as many of the Cobra hierarchy as he possibly can. You know, that's because, like I so said, they uh, are responsible for him killing his girlfriend, I think. Now, this is not your Cobra, your insane Cobra Commander that just starts blah blah blah, destroy everything, oh okay it's time to run away. This Cobra Commander is really intelligent. Uh, basically, what this co you have, to, you have to look at it this way, Cobra is not your, just your mindless uh, dick, uh, war machine. These guys have uh, businesses, you know, companies all over the world, they have products, they have merchandise, uh, technology, and they act, and that's their front. Basically what they are is, not only do they have the army on the back, behind the curtain, but the front of the curtain is their businesses, and what they do is they use, they manipulate things to their best, to, you know, turn things to their favor, just like a regular company tries to do, like, for example, banking and um, uh, finance. I mean, not finance, but the oil companies. And... In this issue here, like I said, basically, Cobra Commander's trying to get Chuckles to their, his side, and they're basically playing this big mind game. All of them are playing some sort of mind game on each other, trying to outmaneuver each other to come out ahead. And this really was a pleasure to read. Um, obviously, you can tell by the, the title, The Death of Cobra Commander, Cobra Commander Gets Killed. And it's and it's not like a pretty, well, I guess, you know, it's a clean death, but it he's dead. It, there's I can't imagine him not being dead. I can't imagine them bringing, bringing him back. Um, and the reason why I'm spoiling that is because obviously you know he's dead because there's the Cobra Commanders. I mean, sorry, Cobra Civil War um, that's running right now. So this is basically what's leading up to it. And um, I, I gotta tell you, this was one of my uh, favorite books to read, uh, a trade series of trades to read. And it, it was just, I really enjoyed it, mostly because I mean the story was intelligent. Uh, and the fact that it just came out of left field. Who would have thought that, you know, the 21st century, there would be a good G.I. Joe comic? Never thought of it. This actually could be made into a movie. That's how good I think this this is. Um, and this probably would have been better than the G.I. Joe movie we got. Uh, but anyways, uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Rate the video up or down. Let me know what you think. I'll have more reviews up later, so until next time.